Sparky, come here. Give me your toy. Go get your toy. Okay, guys, today's video is going to be us trimming Sparky for the first time. We just got some new clippers. The other clippers that we had for our pet grooming um, died on us. Actually, they were a wall, the same thing. Um, same brand, different style. They were like wireless and they just stopped working for some reason. Um, that was like over the years of us trimming Bubby. Today we are doing Sparky the sheep -a doodle So we just wanted to show you guys real quick how these clippers right here, the wall, what kind of clippers are these actually? Let's see the, um, the wall pet pro plus complete pet clipper set or kit. And, um, those are the dogs that they have made in USA. That's nice. Um, that's not a sheep -a doodle one there though. Sheep -a doodles have longer hair than those dogs have. Sparky, come here. Come here, Sparky. Come here. Now this is a sheep -a doodle Now look at how hairy this dog is. We're gonna see how good these trimmers actually work on this dog. Sit, Sparky, sit, sit. Good boy. Okay, he likes, okay, there's his, there's his toy. Okay, here's your toy. Sparky, show him how you fetch. You wanna go get it? You wanna go get your toy? Up, 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 good boy, I taught him that. Good boy, and now, watch this, speak. Good boy. Now go get your toy, go get your toy. Oh my God. So he knows how to fetch now? Okay, Sparky, give me your toy. Watch this, give me your toy. Give me your toy. Drop it. Sparky, give me your toy. Give me your toy, good boy. Drop it, drop it, drop it, good boy. You want your toy? Up, oh, oh, it slipped out of my hand from all the slobber. <laughs> all right, anyways, you saw, we taught him some new tricks, up and also fetch and speak. So now we're going to trim him. Are you gonna trim or you want me to? Um, I say you. Okay, but I don't know, we don't have like a holder for his neck to hold him still, so I'm gonna have to like, I guess sit down on the floor and do it. That's how I usually do Bubby. So anyways, we'll, we'll get this done guys. It's gonna be fun. Let's see how these new clippers work. All right guys, so this is how they sound. Spark, you're such a good boy. Isn't that fun sounding? Look at how he's excited. Okay, so I don't actually know how I'm gonna do this. I guess I'll just start from the back right here. Oh, I'm gonna get hair all over me. Yep. Let's see how this works guys. Oh no, <laughs> this is not doing good. Oh, no, this is pretty good. All right, maybe I should do it from this side. The wireless are a lot easier. Yeah, we go down. Good boy. Good boy, Sparky. Oh, it's coming off good. If you oh, go good. like against the grain, good boy. Is that good? No, that's good with, boy. honey. Oh, uh, I mean with the grain. Oh my gosh. I was gonna show you guys how much hair is coming off. Oh, it looks so good. He's gonna feel good. Yeah, he's gonna feel good too. Good boy. Holy crap, guys, look at this. <laughs> oh, it, it does good. Like, oh, do. it, he'll eat his hair if you wave oh, yeah, it on the ground. He eats his hair. He, this dog eats everything. I'm not even kidding. I brushed him out several times, but it's so hard to brush him out because he has such thick fur. Look at that, Sparky. Wow. Wow, you're doing so good. I gotta take his collar off, but I didn't. Then I want to uh, have something to hold on to if he like takes off, because when we get good to job, his Sparky. head, it's going to be a lot, a lot different. So far, so good. These hey, things uh, cut really good so far, guys. It's going through. I'm not going against the grain. I'm going like with the, um, I guess, the direction of his hair. I had a friend come over to the house the other day, and he said, "They said, did you give your dog a perm?" <laughs> <laughs> good boy, Sparky. Good boy. You're doing so good, Mike. This is like shaving like an Ewok or, or uh, Chewbacca. You ever you ever saw a Chewbacca get shaved? So far, so good, guys. Um, we're gonna continue this, and then um, I'm gonna have to take this this collar off sometime and get his neck and his hair, I mean his head, his hair. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, Nathan got in a 
I wanted to tell you what happened with the golf cart. Nathan got in an accident with the golf cart. So the story is Addison started a Pizza Hut job delivering pizzas. He calls me up. This is his third day. He's never like delivered pizzas before. He calls me up. We're having a movie night with the girls, hanging out with Liv and Drew watching Journey of, to the Center of the Earth 2. Having a great night. And then Addie calls me up and he says, Dad, I got myself stuck in a ditch. He was like breaking up. I had to get up. We so, bad. so I had to pull him out of the ditch. It was like raining. Like I've never, I've never been to this area before. There's police there and everything. His his tire was literally off the ground, like three feet. I'll send you guys. I'll show a picture in the video. And uh, so oh, I pulled here. him He's out. showing it. There it is. Okay. So I pulled him out. Luckily, of the ditch, everything worked out. Get home, and he he told me on the way. Like before I left that, um, not before I left, but I called him like right when I left, he said, I'm going to clock out. Well, he never came home. So I thought maybe he got another wreck and Nathan like took off on the golf cart. He said, I'm going to go find him. The reason why he thought that is because he wasn't answering his phone. Addison wasn't answering his phone. So well, Nathan takes off in the golf cart. It's like nine o'clock at night and um, he never comes back. So I just thought maybe he was just driving around the neighborhood because it's like the weekend. So then... We're not thinking about it, and these people, one of his friends come to the door and say, Nathan just got in an accident on the golf cart, and um, someone said something about he was going off-road, and I was like, I bet he went off-road with that thing and flipped it. I was all mad, but it turns out, like, he went down the road. Someone parked a trailer, like, on the side of the road that's not normally there, and he, like, just ran straight into it. He was going, like, 25 miles an hour. That thing goes 35, but he was going, he said he was going like 25 miles an hour and just ran straight to the back of the trailer. While I'm shaving this dog, Natalie and Addison are going to go show you guys the golf cart real quick. I mean, he ran off because he was scared I was going to be mad, but I was so worried of that he got hurt because when I saw the golf cart, I was so worried. I thought maybe he was like super hurt because I mean, the whole inside, it was caved in, the steering wheel was pushed over. The roof was like bent off the top. It was so scary. And um, it turned out that he barely got scratched up. I'm like, how did you not get hurt? He said he flew through the freaking roof of the golf cart and like landed like 20 or 30 feet like on the road. Like it was super, right, super bad. Man, anyways, go look at the golf cart. Addison's going to sit in the golf cart to show you guys what it looks like. But while I shave, I'm um, sparky. But once again, thanks for watching the video. And I told you guys I was going to tell you the story. I really appreciate you guys watching our channel. And you guys are the best, better than the rest. Ride, fly, 50 giga, gigawatts. But we can't ride on the golf cart. We can't ride, fly on the golf cart anymore. Because that thing's destroyed. <laughs> okay, let's go look at the golf cart. Okay, guys. Here's the golf cart. So apparently he flew through the uh, this part of the uh, golf cart and landed completely. Over, flew over the trailer and over the uh, over the truck and landed on the opposite side of it. But uh, this is how you sit in the golf cart, and it's the steering wheel is normally right here, but for some reason it's over here. Um, and this is the on and off switch. It still runs. <laughs> this thing is uh, pretty pretty screwed up though. He. Uh, Okay, it showed the uh, lights on the front. Yeah, like, it did. Completely, it's like the eyeballs of it fell out. You can get a better like view if you sit in it. So anyways, I can't believe you didn't get hurt. Um, Nathan is fine. He got like a little scratch on, I guess when he flew through the, um, the frame of the, the golf cart or the roof frame, like he scratched his shin and then I, I thought that he was so hurt because he, I was like, are you not hurt? He's like, no, I don't feel anything. I thought he was in shock because he flew, like you got a 16 foot trailer and then you got the truck hooked up to it. He said he landed at the front of the truck he said he and I'm looking at his hands. I'm like, well, do you have any scratches on your hands? He didn't have a scratch on his hand. And then he was like, I think I broke my finger. And I'm like, well, they can't do anything for that. I just had to make sure that he didn't have to go to the Sparky hospital. Sparky left. <laughs> but anyways, that was that story. I got distracted, but so far that's how much hair we got off Sparky. So we're going to donate all this hair to Locks of Love, guys. To Locks of Love.
So it's going to be like the ultra fine perm hair. It's going to be really nice. That's a lot of hair. Yeah, it You're is. not even That's nearly. Not even halfway. He looks so good. Him sparky. Him sparky. His Hemp claws spark. hurt. Him sparky. They do. Hemp we need spark. to trim them. Ah, 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 ah. Stop. <laughs> he got me. He got just, me. Just going to sit there and hang out. <laughs> Bubby's like, what's going on? Hey, Bubs. Hey, Bubs. Hey, Bubs. What you do, Bubby? Uh, all right, guys. So we're going to be back. This is going to, if we just sat here and tried to do this the whole time. This would be a boring video. Just to let you know, this dog, Sparky, is a sheep -a doodle The most energetic dog I've ever had in my life. Ever. I mean, we love him so much, but he is so annoying. It's fascinating. <laughs> he is so annoying. He comes up, and he like jumps on you. I mean, he just wants you to love him. He's so excited. The best guard dog in the world. Like anybody comes anywhere near the house, he's like the first one to bark. I mean, it is amazing, like, how that dog freaking barks. So it's a really good guard dog. And then Phoenix is more, like, mature. She's a really good guard dog, too. But she'll only bark when she knows somebody's at the door that she doesn't know. And then she lets that, that deep bark. I'm yeah. Like, listen. Speak. <coughs> Speak. There good you. girl. Good girl. Give her the whole piece. So, no, okay, give so Bubby you know something. how at, um. Give Bubby. Give Bubby some. Down. Shake. Speak. <coughs> All right, that's good. Can you give Sparky some? Speak. Speak. <coughs> good boy. He can't. He doesn't catch it. He threw it all on the hair. Uh oh. Why? Well, I, I. Phoenix is academic. I just thought all dogs. Were academic. Like, what is that? Do you mean coordinated? No, it's like <laughs> academically <laughs> inclined, like smarter. No, this dog can't see anything. It's like, like know, Phoenix it's, knows how like to do it. like hit him right. <laughs> Right in the eye. <laughs> I forget too sometimes because Phoenix that? is so good at catching. Did you, see, did you get that on film? <laughs> no. Dropped it on his Here. face and he flicked it back Here. and he dropped it on his back. Aww. You're getting it all on the hair, Eddie. This you hair is everywhere. Hair. I have hair on my pants somehow. I know, it's like know. everywhere. Could somebody get a broom, please? Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Hi, Layla. We're doing your dog. <laughs> Tell me about this. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here we go, we're trimming <laughs> Sparky. <laughs> good boy, Sparky. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good so far. It looks better than the big ragamuffin hair. Good boy, Sparky. <laughs> There's so much hair, it's like getting in his throat and stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we're doing good. That's a, how much hair we got so far. <laughs> I went from a three to a two. These things are good, but his hair is so complicated. It's just taking a long time. Ugh. There is a couple mats in his fur that we'll probably just have to scissor cut those out. But okay. he's doing pretty good. He likes to lay down. And um, we just wanted to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that was a delivery person. So that's how good of a guard dog this is. Well, we're going to continue doing this, and then we are going to be back with the finished result and see how Sparky looks once we try to cut him. This is the first time ever trimming a sheep -a doodle Say hi, Liv. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Up here. Say love you guys. Hi. Love you guys. Love you guys. Aw. Thanks for watching. Once again, let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, literally 45 minutes later, this is all we've done. Look at the pile of hair. And that's not all of it. We haven't really swept everything up. Works. It's really a difficult job, I'll be honest. I and I would, um, those clippers are good, but I wouldn't recommend them for Sparky. We're doing scissor cutting now around like the difficult Harrison. parts. His hair is so soft, it kind of like um, folds down when you press the clippers. So around his paws and his ears and stuff, it, um, we're just doing scissor cutting. So we're almost done. And like I said, when we finish, we will show you guys the finished product. But this is, and we're, of course, we're going to give him a bath after we're done. So uh, still going, guys. 
And also those clippers are getting really hot. So I wanted to let them cool down and I'm gonna put some oil on them. But um, there they are. I would not recommend these for a sheep -a doodle especially a really, a sheep -a doodle that's never been grown before. That's just my opinion. But they are good clippers if uh, you have a dog that has like, I guess less fur and, and like double coat like a sheep -a doodle does. I keep saying that wrong, sheep -a doodle Say sheep -a doodle Liv. All right, you say it, babe. Sheep a doodle. She says it good. All right, guys, we did it. I oh, mean, I don't know if we did a good job. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. We did it. We trimmed it for like an hour and a half, and um, he looks better. But I still have to give him a bath. Dad, Look at all the hair. It's I like, like I'm taking him to I'm taking him to the groomer next time. The hair is funny. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure he feels better. He's still soft. I still got to give him a bath. Sparky, and, uh, look at the camera. Sparky, you look so handsome. There he is. Wow. Anyways, thanks for watching, <laughs> guys. Um, I don't recommend you do it at the house yourself and uh, take him to the groomer. The only thing is, is uh, he does like being around us, I guess, when we're cutting his Mom, hair. Mom, am I doing a good we're, like, job? You are. He did good as far as, like, um, he wasn't too rambunctious while we were cutting him, but we still have a lot of cleaning to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You're the best, better than the rest. Say bye. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye, guys. Say bye, Sparky. Say bye, Sparky. Bye. <laughs>